Oh, hey there, people. Welcome to yet another one of these vlogs of mine, for freak's sakes. What a horrible day yesterday was. Oh, God. So I get up in the morning, and, uh, you know, the morning wasn't too bad. That, I got some great news in the morning yesterday morning, that's for sure. Yeah. Amy calling from Fiberop. I'm just calling because you registered on our pre-registration list for Fiberop. So we did want to let you know that it is now available at your address. If you'd like to discuss the options, you can reach us at... So I can now get fiber op internet which will be great when I lose my job because then I'll be able to really make some videos and really upload the shit out of them really 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 fast and uh, the cost for fiber op is only like $15 more than what I'm paying for this uh, 16 meg down 2 meg up cable internet and the fiber op is 50 down 30 up yeah that's a big friggin change in performance if you ask me so probably gonna look into that and get that installed uh, right now fiber op has a really cool thing going on they got a real good promotion, I do believe. So I was all ecstatic about that, the fact that FiberOp called me and it's now available in the area and I can totally pick that shit up and I'm really excited for it. And then I go to work and that's when everything started just turning to shit. Speaking of shit, I gotta go take a shit. So while I sit here dumping yesterday's dinner in the toilet, I figured I would tell you what turned the friggin' day into shit. It's pretty simple. So I get to work, and um, everything seems okay, and I get into the office, and there's this email waiting for me from my boss. Come January 1st, the schedule will be changing. And I'm like, why would the schedule change? And then it says, the help desk is going from 10 people down to 9. Now I know what you're all thinking. It's like, holy shit, Adam, you're getting laid off already? No. <sighs> Somebody else's. <laughs> Another guy on the on the team. Uh, you remember when I said that I had that job offer and uh, I put in my request to be released, receive my, my pay and all that, my, my severance pay, and then just go on about my business? But they decided to deny me and not let me have it? Yeah. Well, they decided to go balls deep and let another one of my coworkers have uh, their early uh, release with uh, pay and all that. And it's complete horseshit. Like, freak sakes, I actually had a good job lined up and all that and stuff, and I was like, I did everything to the book and they denied me, telling me at the time that they couldn't release me because uh, they weren't, I can't remember, the, there was something about like, uh, they weren't allowed to liquidate their assets or some freaking nonsense like that, and then they go and let this guy go. I had a job lined up, I got fucked over, and then this guy here from the sounds of it doesn't have a job lined up, he has a course lined up, an online course, but yeah, so it's like, fuck me. Like that, that royally pissed me off. So like I'm, I'm right then I'm putting a bad mood. <sighs> and then lunchtime comes around, people. I decide to go outside. I'm like, oh, maybe I'll take a run over to McDonald's and get myself a burger or something. Or actually, I'll think Wendy's because I like their uh, ginger bacon cheeseburgers. They're really good. They're not too bad. Go out to the car, turn the key. Tick, 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 tick. Nothing. Dead. Fucking battery, shit the bed then. Well, that wouldn't have been that big of a deal if I had my bat my booster pack on me, which I didn't. So, sure enough, I call around, try and get a hold of my friends, see if anybody can come over and give me a boost. Couldn't get a hold of anybody, called dad. Luckily, he wasn't working nights, and he came over and dropped off his booster pack, because mine is current. I have a booster pack, it's just it wasn't in the car. And I don't know if he can leave those in the car, because I don't know how the cold handles the battery and if it fucks it over or not. But uh, I'm probably going to start leaving it in the car. But anyway, I need a new battery for the car now, which wouldn't be such a big issue if on Tuesday I didn't go out and renew my insurance with a different company and have to pay first and last months. You see, I decided to fire my insurance company because uh, they were charging me way too much and every year it was going up by like 30 bucks. Which makes no sense when you have a clean, clean, clean record, which is when I went to the new insurance company and said, listen, I want to change my insurance to you guys, and that starts as of January 1st. Let's get this ball rolling. So they said, okay, and they set it all up, and like, we need a first and last month's pay. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's different. Nobody else has ever done that. Normally, with like before when I signed up with insurance, I just signed up. It wasn't like renting an apartment, but uh, no, 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 I had to pay first and last. So that kind of soaked me for about $332 which, you know, gave me enough money to survive for the rest of the week and, and get on to payday easily. I get that done and then everything's fine, dandy. I get to work, battery shits the bed. So I'm like, fuck, now I gotta buy a new battery, which means the fundage will be tight until payday, which is gonna be awesome. So I got home last night, I boosted the battery at work, got home, 
took out my battery charger, hooked it up to the car, put it on a two amp trickle, and just plugged it in and walked away and it's been hooked up still. So we're gonna have to go disconnect that. So I have no idea what the fuck I'm gonna do. I'm getting like, I probably should have replaced that battery the moment I saw the, uh, the voltage drops, but I didn't and now I'm paying for it. Fuck sakes. Told my buddy Mike, who runs the electronic cigarette store here in North Bay, that I'd pop into his shop and see what's going on. Apparently he's got a whole bunch of new products and his website needs to be updated. Apparently he's got like Nautiluses and Mini Nautiluses and MVP 2.0s and I taste VTRs and I taste 134s and all sorts of different types of shit. So I'm going to go down there and check his shit out. He says the store is completely different and all that. So, uh... Yeah, let's finish firing off this turd and let's uh, get this friggin' party on the road and go spend money I don't have. Lovely. Huh, I guess Scampers hated my green screen. Fucking cat. It's, holy shit. Uh, got snow? My goodness. Sure is coming down out there like a motherfucker right now, eh? My god. But uh, I'm just gonna finish my coffee off and then we're gonna hit the road. So I just disconnected the extension cord I had for the uh, battery charger and that's how I left it overnight. I'm just sitting there charging and the gauge never moved so I'm thinking the gauge on my thing is shot. You know the terminals are shot. I don't know, whatever. I'm just gonna go see if I can start the car after I get the battery charger out of under the hood and uh, we'll go from there. Like it is an old battery so that's probably what killed it, just its age. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna try and start the car. Actually, you know what? Can I start it remotely? Can I start it with the hood open? I don't see no hood sensor switches anywhere. Nope, won't let me start it with the hood up. Son of a bitch. For your sakes, I forgot to hit record, but she started no problem. It started no problem. Look at that. Snow on the engine and everything. That's friggin' awesome. How much is that scampers in the window? Meow, meow. Holy shit, I just cleaned off the car. Can you tell? Friggin' snow's coming down like a son of a hoover today. I just checked my phone outside there to see if I could actually afford to put a battery in the car and looks like I'm too Kenny for until payday. So I may have to uh, relax my uh, fucking my, my bill paying and uh, focus on making a, a cash reserve for fuck ups because I kind of don't have one of those and I can already see the comments coming out like what kind of a fucking idiot doesn't have a savings account? Jesus Christ just went inside to get a friggin uh, Bottle of juice and the windshield's already doused. Lovely. Lovely. Anyway, we gotta go. So it looks like for the next little bit it's gonna be booster boxes if I my car dies until Wednesday when I can drop a new battery into it. Fuck. Hate being this broke. Any hoozle, let's head off to the vape shop and go visit Mike and see what's really going on. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to have these on the whole time, so uh, let's do a high speed drive to the vape store. Let's go. Okay, so I'm starting to understand why there was a snow day today for the kids because holy fuck is this ever hard to drive in. It's like the snow plows, even the one just passed by. I think they're overwhelmed. I don't think we have enough snow removal equipment in this town to freaking clean these streets up. Or at least maintain them for the duration of the snowfall. So we got a heavy snowfall warning of 15 centimeters, which is about a half a foot. Which isn't really that much, but the problem is, is it doesn't auto pack. So it's really fluffy. The snow does that. It's not like Tetris. And my back windshield, even though I cleaned it, it's fucking caked with snow and I can't see shit out of it again. Freak sakes. 
Thank God people don't use back windshields. Well, I would use back windshields, but. So we'll go kill time with Mike until we gotta go to work, and then we'll go to work, and oh fuck, I need that. See that little plow tractor thing on the side? Probably did see it. I need that. Sure beats snow blowing when you can just drive a great big tractor and push snow around. I'd like to see that guy get stuck. Why even have your wiper on in the back? Can you even see through that spare tire? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. That's like a full size, freaking massive mudding spare. And he's got his wiper in the back going. He can only see through like a little slit, probably. Come on, car, find traction and use it. So we're going to have to try and make this battery keep until Wednesday, next Wednesday, probably when you guys are watching this vlog. So uh, get ready for hilarity as I swear and, and complain about this friggin' battery and its suckiness. But uh, there's not a lot of traffic out today, mainly because uh, a lot of the smart businesses are closed. But uh, where I work, that doesn't fucking matter. And I guarantee you tonight, wireless, I gotta turn the heater back on, I fucking can't see out my window. But um, the wireless, I guarantee you tonight, we get tons and tons and tons of fucking calls about it. People not understanding that when their radio gets covered in snow, it causes problem with line of sight to the tower, and it causes a drop in performance on the Wi-Fi, or the wireless, and it actually causes a problem. And with this much snow, I have a feeling tonight is going to be busier than a motherfucker at work. So, that's just perfect. Thank fuck that this is my second last week before the end of the year. But, well... But I uh, called Hoppers to get this car in for recalls. And because there's so many to do, they need the car for three days. Which, that's no good for me because I work. You know, I actually have a job and stuff and I kind of need my car. Hey, look at that, they salt in the sand at Lakeshore. Fucking right on. See if I can get around this delivery truck before he decides to switch lanes and cut me off. Oh fuck, I'm not even gonna be able to get around this plow probably. Nope. I don't think I'm. Well, well, maybe. Maybe. We'll try it. Hopefully, we'll go fucking exchange paint. Ugh, frig. Yeah, winter tires, summer tires, well, summer tires would suck right now, but winter tires, all season tires. Big time fan of the winter tires right now. All seasons probably wouldn't get you by, but not if you need to come to a quick stop, probably. Wow. Sakes, people! I gotta get going. I gotta get to work. But uh, yeah, it was a pretty good, uh, pretty good show up there. Hung out with Mike for a bit. And a couple people showed up, and but it's dead in there, man. The previous guy who ran the business really fucking butchered her. Oh, and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get out of here now because I got a guy in a Toyota Echo block on my car. Lovely, lovely. All right, well, let's get the frig out of here. Oh, freak sakes, the one thing I hate about winter is cleaning the snow off the cars. Now, I gotta back out, and there's some lady in a friggin' car behind me, and she's not planning on moving. Let's try and use some evasives here. She's just sitting in her fucking car, smoking a cigarette, not even moving. Like, who the fuck does it? Let's come to a parking lot and park in a spot blocking a bunch of fucking cars in my dirty little Toyota Echo because I'm a filthy fucking bitch. And when you're asked to move, just pretend like you don't speak English. Like, are you trying to get insurance claims? Fucking sure it does seem like it. And the other problem is, is when you can't fucking see anything, because it's so snowy out, 
and people are not running with the DL DLRs, the daylight running lights, or DRLs, whatever the fuck they're called. All right, let's see if we can get out of here. Of course we can get out of here. It's a fucking G6. But uh, yeah, the business sure took a shit kick in there. Nothing but stories being heard today about nonsense that took place during uh, the operation when Mike let the other guy run it. Nothing but nonsense. But for fuck's sakes. Sales are bad. It's a real shame because he's got a real nice shop. Like he's got a bunch more juices and all different flavors and a whole fuckload of new mods. He gave me a Panzer there. That's pretty sweet for review purposes. Give me a discount on the Panzer he did. And uh, that's freaking exciting because uh, I don't have any mech mods. I really do not have any mech mods. Like, I got the Nemesis, but it's fucked. The battery, uh, the, the um, I don't know, the threading shot. So it's really not holding its tits. And the uh, friggin' what else is there? Segeli mechanical's no good either, so, yeah. God, you know what sucks about the winter, though? It's all this snow and ice buildup on everything. It just makes it horrendous. You guys probably got a decent view, but I, however, have the shittiest view on the face of the planet right now. That's a bonus. The battery lasted two hours of being not used. I think what it was was I left that fucking air pump of mine plugged in. Oh, shit. Uh, the, I got an air pump that I use for pumping up my tires because they always go flat because the rims are bent. And uh, I think what happened was the LED light was tripped on. There's a light bulb on a flashlight. And I think having that on four hours was enough to sap the battery too low off the 12 volt array. The compressor wasn't on, just the light bulb on it. So hopefully we'll have enough starting power to get us going tonight. I am going to buy any battery people, I just need cash, that's all. So once I get enough money scrapped together, I'll get a new battery enter until then, we'll just fucking run our boosted. Now the guys are here to plow the driveway. Really? Now? Right fucking now? Right on. Ah, uh, where to park? Where to park? That's not a parking spot. That was a parking spot. That fucking blue blaster on this truck. Hopefully not get taken out by his plow. is gonna get me stuck. Put contraction controls on. What I mean by that is not that I have it turned on, but that it just engaged. So that's fun. That's when you know the parking lot's in bright shite. Turn on, fucker. Oh, why can't I fucking get into the spot here? Everybody's driving like fucking assholes and taking up all the space in the road because it's snowing out. You're stupid. We're stupid people who shouldn't be allowed to drive. Shouldn't be allowed to drive. And that is all she wrote. 
So for anybody wondering, that's the Panzer. Yeah, that's the Panzer right there. Pretty decent device, pretty awesome. Very simple, very easy to work with, and shoot it. So I'm gonna be setting that up tonight. I'm probably gonna rebuild the Patriot for it and we'll rock that out and uh, Mike wants to see it in action. So uh, right on, probably bring it in tomorrow. Maybe, I don't know from when I'll be back into the shop, but I'll probably pop into the shop again sometime this week or probably next week, I don't know. We'll see what's going on. Fucking get her done. But uh, I'm at work now and uh, thank God the car started with, e with ease. So I'm thinking what it was, was that fucking thing in the back, that uh, air pump. I left the LED light on, sapped the battery dry, and uh, yeah, that was all she wrote. She friggin' shut her down, so. Still, I gotta replace the battery. It's friggin' 2010, so uh, it's four years old. It's running on fumes. It's probably not gonna start at midnight tonight, and that's gonna lick dick, but uh, that's why I got the booster pack in the back the booster pack in the back so that happens I'll just fucking jump starter whatever I just don't understand why the battery decided well I shouldn't say that because I know why <laughs> never mind never mind I was gonna say that but anyway people I'm uh, basically done with the vlog for now so I'm gonna shut her down and call her quits for now and probably maybe do one tonight I don't know we'll see what we get into I'm pretty tired so tonight might just be an easy night I might just go home and uh, go to bed early, and then tomorrow wake up early and snowblow because I think tomorrow's going to be a snowblow day, judging by all the white shit coming down right now, and we're expecting more. And apparently there's some highways closed. Apparently Highway 11 North is closed, and Highway 17 uh, to Sturgeon Falls is closed. But anyway, I'm going to shut her down here, people, so thanks for watching my shit. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, click the like button. Any questions, comments, concerns, down below they go. And until next time, keep on vlogging.